Well, well, here we are. It's day 30. We made it all the way through November and I didn't miss a day. Welcome to the E14 Toy Box Gravity Feed Challenge Finale, where we're going to do a pair, Wonder Woman and the Flash. Not enough? Let's do a Man of Steel as well. Not enough? Superman and Legion of Superheroes. Not enough? Guardians 2. Still not enough? I'll do a booster and all. Right, let's get one on the Instagram and then the rest can happen on the YouTube. Oh, new one. I don't have this one. Raven. So it's a Teen Titans. Uh, looks like Teen Titans team ability. Four, point, uh, four clicks, 40 points. Uh, Titans together. Modified Raven's attack by plus one if another friendly character used the Titans team ability. Teleportation. Movement on clicks one and three. Uh, give Raven a power action and choose an adjacent friendly character with the mystical keyword up to two adjacent friendly characters with the Teen Titans team. I'm guessing that's or. Place Raven in a square within six squares in line of fire and place the chosen characters adjacent to her. So she can just move people, I guess, right up to her. Um, so she's got phase and teleport, penetrate and psychic blast, regen, prob control and support. Not a bad doll. Uh, no, five, six range, one lightning bolt, probability control and clicks one and four. I was up to max three damage at one point with support. That's pretty cool. Nice. So that's part one. Booster two. It's another one I don't have. Excellent. Argus Researcher. Incidentally, get used to seeing the flash ones because I've still got loads. Uh, stealth and then attack box out. Green Room, Dimensional Tesseracts, give Argus Researcher a power action. This turn, Argus Researcher can use targeting, improved targeting, uh, elevated terrain and blocking terrain, and friendly characters' range values are a minimum of 8 when using Outwit, Perplex, or Probability Control. Nice. So he's got uh, Energy Shield Deflection, Outwit, and Probability Control on his damage, Energy Shield Deflection on his defense. He's 40 points for 4 clicks. He's got that. Uh, attack box out on three out of four. Right, number two. You pop them at the back here. Next, Man of Steel. This one's a soldier, so it doesn't matter that it's doubled up. Kryptonian Rebel, plus he's got awesome armor. The regime must fall. Kryptonian Rebel, uh, Rebel targets a character with a Kryptonian keyword and a higher point value with an attack. He can use willpower and modifies his attack by plus one this turn. Uh, movement, running shot and leap climb, energy explosion on his attack, toughness and combat reflexes, and close combat expert on his damage. Uh, 50 points for a stiff dial. Uh, five clicks. So it's 10 points per click, not too bad. A couple of those probably combine quite well together. Next, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, Ravager. Pirate's life for me. During force construction, you may pay 20 points for this character. If you do, at the start, beginning of the game, choose a starting line. Uh, during force construction, you may pay 10 points each for up to four of this character. If you do, at the beginning of the game, an opponent must choose a distinct starting line for each one. So that's these starting lines here. So you've got four different four different uh, dials. Three point, three, two clicks each, 20 points or 10. Uh, okay. And then taking prisoners, when Ravager hits with an attack, after action is resolved, give the hit character an action token. He's got running shot, charge, and sidestep, and leap climb across his four different abilities. Energy explosion, blades claws, poison, and his attack box out across the other attacks. Support, battle fury, enhancement, and empower across his damage, and no defense powers of which to speak. Four. And then finally, from the gravity feeds... This is another one. This, Man of Steel and Flash. Get used to seeing these. Because they'll turn up elsewhere at random. Ooh, cool. I don't have this one. Oh, that's a pretty awesome sculpt as well. Phantom Girl. She's waking her way out of terrain almost. So, uh, Phantom Girl can use Phasing Teleport. If, during a move action, Phantom Girl passes through a square containing an opposing character with the robot or vehicle keyword, deal that character one penetrating damage. If that character is a vehicle with a pilot, after action is resolved, eject the pilot. 
disrupt electronics, which is pretty cool. Legion of Superheroes keyword, uh, team ability, uh, sidestep, precision strike, super senses, defend, and empower. She is how many points? 80. So she should hopefully have a decent number of clicks on her dial. Seven? Seven. Not too bad. Pretty good. And that power sounds like fun if you're playing against the right team. Somebody who favours the uh, the robots. All right. Then as an added bonus, get the uh, booster open in the background. Sort of hoping for a chase out of this because I haven't had a Joker's Wild chase appear yet. I've had a fair few of these boosters now. This is my last booster, apart from Bricks. So you'll see a couple of videos in the coming weeks of uh, Joker's Wild. They were pre—they were recorded a while back. Just haven't had the chance to edit them. So, no, that's not. That was a bit anticlimactic, wasn't it? Oh, let's see a cool one. Okay, so I've got Harley Quinn. Looks like a Joker thug. Cobra. Merlin and a sketch variant of the Spectre. So I'm going to pop these out. Do you know what? That is only that is a rare, but I don't have the Spectre, so I'm happy with that. Let's have a look at his uh, dial. So he's four clicks for 40 points. Sketch variant, James Corrigan, rest in peace. Uh, phasing teleport across his entire dial. Uh, super senses across his entire dial with an defense of 19 on clicks three and four. Blimey. And uh, I always forget the blue one. Shape change for the first two. Trait, a simpler time, once per turn for all characters with this trait. If a character uses the JSA team ability to replace its defense value with the Spectres, and why would you not? This character can use super senses for the attack, but only evades on a six. Justice Society, Detective, Mystical, Past, and Police. It hasn't got the mystical keyword, uh, the mystical ability, though. So that's an interesting choice, nonetheless. A cool piece. I'm very happy with that. Um, I have just done it in reverse rarity order, which is not my usual style, but such is life. What can you do when you're deciding to do extra bits on the fly? These things happen. So... Joker Thug, just going to do them in order of how easily they pop out of the uh, plastic. Joker is the king of Gotham. When building your force, the Joker Thug does not count against the theme team if your force has a character named the Joker on it. If an adjacent friendly character named the Joker is hit by an attack, the Joker Thug may become the hit target of that attack instead, even if it would be illegal. Nice. You punch like Judy and big pile, big pile on the bat. Three clicks for ten points. Toughness and empower on his damage. So next, I go for, I'll try and get Merlin out. Let's not, Cobra. So I've had some fanatics for this character. I've always wondered who the man is behind the fanatics and Cobra is the man. Doing a bit of a Michael Jackson smooth criminal shtick. I think he's gone a bit bent in the packaging. Shedding Scales, Defense, uh, Cobra can use Mastermind and Toughness. Uh, Cobra can use Leadership, give Cobra a power action and choose up to two adjacent friendly characters with the Strike Force Cobra keyword, give Cobra and each chosen character a move action as a free action. That's pretty cool. Uh, five clicks for 60 points. So Mind Control and Sidestep, Precision Strike and Poison, Regen and Exploit Weakness. So four clicks of the Defense box out and then Regen. And two clicks of the damage box out, two clicks of exploit weakness, and then a blank one. So not a bad piece for 60 points. Obviously, if you've got Cobra Fanatics, as I do, then that makes it uh, a lot easier. Ooh, I busted that dial. That's unfortunate. Nevertheless, it's a Harley Quinn, 25 points. So she is three clicks for 25, three clicks of stealth, no, no attacks. Uh, combat reflexes and three clicks of perplex and perplexing still is the camera choosing to play silly buggers there we go perplex right, finally
Merlin. So he's got a bit of a Hawkeye meets Wolverine kind of vibe going, looks wise. Trait, when Merlin has one or more action tokens, he can use stealth. Uh, he has willpower on some of his clicks, but not all of them. Uh, I always see it coming. Merlin can use combat reflexes. When he would be hit by a ranged attack, roll 2d6 and compare the result to your opponent's unmodified attack roll. If your result is higher, the attack is evaded. Okay, so he has like a, almost like a super senses based on the score. That's pretty cool. Running shot and flurry, precision strike and blades claws, willpower, and then range combat expert and uh, shape change. So 80 points for six clicks. He's quite a nice dial. Seven uh, range and two uh, lightning bolts. Very nice indeed. Well, there you go. So that's been 30 days, and it's actually been more like 35, 40 figures now, um, what with all the extra ones I've done. But I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. It's been nice to get through some of these gravity feeds and find some of the cool stuff inside rather than just sitting watching them gather dust on the shelf. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed finding out what's inside. Uh, good news in the future. I have enough to do. I have enough of these gravity feeds left over. Flash, Man of Steel, Legion of Superheroes to do it again. So uh, look forward to that, I'm sure, at some point. And as always, until the next time, bye for now.